what's up guys learning with rich here in this video we are going to learn how to add joy system okay so last video we learned how to alter the beam elevations or the offset of our beam so this time let's learn how to add a joy system but before that let me just quickly show you how to tag our floor plan here so let's say i want to tag all the framing so i just need to go to the annotate tag panel and then you can see here tag all okay so you click the tag all net tag so you click that and then after that you move the slider down and then you look for structural framing tags okay so you just need to check that and then just select okay and very quickly you'll be able to tag it right so there's the tag of now uh, there's the tag of our uh, framing now uh, let's uh, create our joy system let's add our joy system before that you need to learn how to load it so i'm going to select the insert tab uh load family and then after that uh you just need to go to your libraries so this is the location so i have saved the autodesk folder on my d drive but usually your it will save this inside the c drive okay so in my case so it's on the d drive autodesk okay so you go to your libraries okay and then you uh, you look for english and then after that you look for structural framing steel folder and then let's look for our bar joist this one so let's say i'll use uh, mk series bar joist angle web so just select that one and then select your OK. And then you just need to select here the type. So let's say I'll be selecting the smallest one, the 8K one. And then let's say the I'm going to hold the control and then select 14K3. There you go. And then just select your OK. So now that our bar joist is loaded, so let us now go to the structure and the same way we create our beam system so we just need to select the beam system as well or you can also type bs so select that one and then for the beam type so let me use here the 14k3 okay the big one so let's select that and then for the layout rule i'll be using a maximum spacing of five feet now I'm going to snap it on the 3D view or on the 3D and then uh, tag on placement so that as I place the joy system automatically it will be tagged. All right. So make sure that when it's turned on. Okay. So beam type, layout rule, 5 feet, 3D, what else? Okay. So for this one, for the elevation from level, remember on our last video, we adjust it by... Uh, two and a half right so for this one i'm just going to type uh, 2.5 inches okay so i'm just going to type there 2.5 inches all right oops sorry so 2.5 inches there you go all right and then let us now place it so i'm going to hover my point, uh, pointer here so there you go so you click so we just need to click this just like we created our uh, beam system last time so this time we are placing a joist okay so later on we're going to create a sketch here to create our beam system let's click that let's click let's click this one okay my laptop is really slow Okay, now for this small part here, I'm going to change the beam type to 8K1. Okay, let's place that. Click. Click. And then here as well. And here as well. There you go. And then let's use again the 14K3 here, here, okay, <clears throat> okay, so let me place it here as well, 
here as well. Wow, it's really slow. Here as well. Okay, and then I'll change this to 8K1 and place here. Okay, now for this area, so let me change the beam type to 14K3. But this time, I'll be using a sketch beam system. So select this. And then let's use again, if you remember, we use the pick supports. And then the direction is vertical. So I'm going to pick vertical first, this one. Click. You click that in this order. Okay, click. And then as you can see here, it's not close. So we're going to use trim extend to corner. You can also type TR, click. Okay, so make sure the corners are clean. Okay, so it's clean. It's clean, all right? And then let's select check here. There you go. Now, let's say I do not want this type of tag. So what I'm going to do is, um, if I want the same type, just like here. So I'm going to just delete these tags here. Delete that. Let's use create similar. So just click that and then type CS, Charlie Shera. Uh, CS stands for create similar. And then let's pick this. There you go. And then let's just align it and then pick. There you go. Okay. And then we just need to mirror this to this side here. So I'll be selecting the joy system or the beam system as well as the tag. Click, hold control to select that. And then um, mirror draw axis. Speak here. One, two. There you have it. There you go. So let's go check it out in the 3D view. So I select default 3D view. There you go. And then let's zoom in. There you go. So let's click that one. Okay. As you can see, there's our uh, minus 2.5, so it's 2.5 there, okay? Let's check out the one here in the area of our shaft. Okay, let's zoom in. Okay, now for this area, it's not uh, flash, so it went down minus 2.5. Alright, so let's edit this one, so I'm going to select this, hold control, Click, oops, sorry. So select, hold control, select, and then select, all right. And then instead of minus 2.5, so just make it zero. There you go. So it's now nicely flashed there. So let's do it as well to the other side. So let's select, hold control, I'll click, click, all right, this one is zero, enter. There you go, okay? There you have it. Okay, so basically that's how you add your uh, uh, joy system, okay? So on our next video, I'm going to show you how to tag our frames, okay? So hopefully you learned something from this video, guys, if you have any comments questions or suggestions you can put it on the comment section below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can thank you for watching guys have a nice day